Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in this session, let us have a look on storage classes in a C language. So before going to the actual concept of this storage classes, we need to know what is the use of storage classes and what is meant by the storage classes. So for every variable which we are de uh, declaring in our C program is having some specific scope and lifetime. So for every variable which we are declaring in our C program, we will have the scope and lifetime. So what is meant by scope and what is a lifetime? So scope is a region where the variable can be used. So region where can be used. So where variable can be used. And the lifetime means how long the variable holds the memory. So that means how long a variable holds the memory. So this is the scope and lifetime. For every variable there will be a scope and lifetime. So the, it depends upon the declaration point the scope and lifetime will be varying. So that we call it as a storage classes and mainly there are four storage classes in our C program. So first one, auto variables, second one, static variables, third one, external variables, fourth one, registers. So these are the four storage classes available in our C language and compulsory the variable if we declare a variable it will be declared by using any one among these storage classes. So for this what is the syntax while declaring a storage class. So syntax for declaring is using the storage class. So storage class storage class followed by data type followed by variable name storage class followed by data type followed by variable name same call so actually we, we have seen the declaration of a variable if you want to declare an integer variable we are simply writing as int i so this indicates we are declaring a variable i as a integer data type similarly the storage class here in this storage class we have to use a keyword of one among these four so the keyword for this automatic uh, variables are auto this static this is external this one register so these are the keywords which we have to use while declaring any variable using the storage class so if you want to declare a variable using the automatic variable we have to write it as auto int i so this statement implies we are declaring the variable i as a integer data type and having the storage class of auto next static int i so it implies we are declaring a variable i as an integer data type which follows the storage class static similarly if you use extern we have to use extern int i next x sorry register int i 
So what is the difference between all these four storage classes? The main difference between all these four storage classes is X scope, X scope and lifetime of a variable. So the scope and lifetime of particular variable will be changing for each and every storage class. So now let us see the scope and lifetime for auto, static, extern and register. So if you if you simply declare it as int i, the default storage class is auto. So if you declare an integer, an integer variable i as an integer data type, if you if you are not mentioning the storage class, automatically the compiler will treat this variable declaration as automatic variable. So it will treat i as an automatic variable. So whatever the scope and lifetime having with auto variables will be applied to the variable i. So by default storage class is auto, auto automatic variable. So as it is a case since two, the keywords are all are in a small letters. You should not write a capital letters auto and here also static, extern and register. So uh, uh, now let us see the scope and lifetime of each and every storage class. So let us begin with automatic variables. This is simply like uh, local variables which we are declaring in the program. Automatic variables which we are declaring in a program. That means local variables which we are declaring in the regular program. That means the scope means the region where it can be used means where the variable sorry you can write it as can be used in the same block in which the variable has been declared So only in the same block, in which block we are declaring the variable, in the same block itself the variable can be used. That means if we declare the variable in a main function, we can use the variable only in the main function. So we can't use the variable in the predefined, sorry, uh, user defined function. So actually we are writing the user defined function outside the main function. So we cannot use the variables which are declared in main function in the user defined function. So that we call it as auto and simply we can say these variables as a local variables. So local variables also can be used only within the block which in which the variable can be declared. And what about the lifetime? Here also, so up to when the variable holds the memory. So only only in the block in which the variable has been declared. That means alive. The variable will be alive only within the same block in which the variable has been declared. Immediately after executing this block after ending the, this block in which the variable has been declared, automatically it will release the memory. That means the variable will be dead. So the variable will be alive only inside the block in which the variable has been declared. So if the variable is declared in the main function, immediately after the main function, the variable will be releasing the memory which holds, which it holds the, throughout the program. So the limitation also within the block. So that's why we say that automatic variables are the local variables. Then, what is the default value? So as we know that the default value of any variable declared 
any local variables is a garbage value. So that means the default value means after declaration, after declaring a variable and before initializing a variable, the value in uh, value in the memory is a garbage value. That means if you don't initialize any data to the variable, that means if you don't initialize the value to the variable, the default value will be the garbage value. That means int i. This implies, so auto int i. This implies a memory will be allocated, a two bytes of memory will be allocated and by defaultly, so only declaration is here, there is no initialization. Until the i is initialized, the value of this memory a will be garbage value. That means the default value is a garbage value if the variable is declared using the auto storage class. Now, moving on to the second one. Second one is a static. So what is a static? Here also the syntax is static int i. That implies i is a variable declared using int and follows the scope and lifetime of static storage class scope so up to where these variables will be used where the where, in which region the variable can be used so this variable can be used in the block in the same block in which the variable has been declared That means the scope is same for auto and static variables. So in which block we are uh, declaring the variable, up to that block only we can use the, that particular variable. So outside the block we, we can't use the particular variable. Next, lifetime. So what is the lifetime of a static variable? So here the lifetime means alive up to where, when the variable is alive. So here, until the completion of the program, completion of the program, the variable will be alive. Through the program, the variable will be alive. So after completing the, com the program execution, then only the variable will release the memory. So our program may consist of main function and user defined function. So the variable cannot be used in both, uh, both the main function and the uh, user defined function. But the variable will be still alive until the program completes its execution. So this can be clearly understood uh, uh, while writing the a simple example that we will write later. Then what is the default value? Default value of a static variable is a zero. Not a garbage value, it's a zero. So the default value of a, gar of a static variable is zeros. That means if you declare a variable static in i, a memory is allocated with the two bytes and the value in the memory location is zero because the variable is declared as static. And let us move on to the third one, third storage class. The third storage class is extern. So external storage class is similar to the global variable. So not actually as a global variable declaration. We can, uh, the, the process is similar to the global variables. So the syntax for declaring any variable using extern is extern int i. That 
That means we are declaring a variable i as an integer data type and it follows the scope and lifetime of external storage gas. So here actually the external means it says the compiler somewhere else the declaration has been done. So either it may be outside the main function, inside the main function and inside the user defined function whatever it may be placed it gives the compiler to check for the initialization of a particular variable. So here the scope, the scope of extern variable is throughout the program. So we can access the variables which are declared as extern throughout the entire program. Throughout the program. Next, what is the lifetime? So here also the lifetime is similar to the static variables. So it will be alive until the program completes its execution. Program completes its execution. It is alive. So after completing the program execution then only the memory will be released by the external variable. And what are the default values? What is the default value? Here also it is similar to the static that is zeros. So a memory will be declared for this statement. It is named as i which reserves the two bytes of memory and the value will be zero because here there is no initialization only declaration. So the default value will be zeros. Next, let us go on to the fourth one. Registers. So here, actually the values will not, if, if any variable is declared using a register, so the compiler will allocate one registers of a processor to the to store the value of a variable and so here instead of storing the value in the RAM it will store the value in the registers so it stores the value in registers so first it will check for the register which is available if the register is available, automatically the value will be stored in the registers. So if the register is not available, then automatically it will store in the memory. So here also, so what is the purpose of storing the value in the registers? So it gives fast access during the runtime. So it gives a fast access to that particular variable which is stored in the register during the runtime of a program. Now what is the scope? So here also the scope is similar to the automatic variables. That means within the block, within the block in which variable has been declared. And what about the lifetime? So up to when the variable or uh, the variable will be alive. This is also similar to our automatic variable. So only within the block in which the variable has been declared. Immediately after completion of that particular block where the variable is declared automatically the variable will release the memory, release its memory. So the lifetime is also within the block. That means alive only within the block where the variable is declared. What about the default value? 
So here the default value is again garbage value. Garbage value. So this is completely similar to our automatic variable. The, but only difference is the where the data is stored, where the value will be stored. So in the automatic variables, the value will be stored in RAM, that means a memory. And here the first preference is on registers. So First, the compiler will check for availability of registers. If any register is available, automatically the variable, the value of that particular variable is stored in, into the register. And if the uh, register is not available, because there will be limited registers in our in our uh, processor, right? So, if the register is not available, then automatically the storage area is a memory. So, the values will be stored in the memory. So the main uh, purpose of storing, the main advantage of storing the va values in, into the registers is we can access the variables fast. So we can access the registers fast. The data inside the registers will be accessed fast during the runtime of the program. For this purpose, we will use the registers. So this is all about the storage classes. Now let us see an example for the static and External. So automatic variables are no normal variables. So, so uh, in the past videos, whatever the programs we are using, whatever the variable declarations we are using, all are comes under this local variables. That means automatic variables. So there we are not writing any storage class because we are just declaring the variables as int a comma b comma c. That means automatically these variables will follow the lifetime and scope of a automatic variables so that that is by default it is declared as auto storage class so what the rule we have we have to follow is we have to declare all the variables in the program all the variables before using those variables inside the program so while declaring the variable it is mandatory to specify the storage class for that particular variable so for our purposes we are not declaring any storage classes so the, by default the compiler will treat that storage class as an auto so now let us see the, an example for static and the extern storage classes so where we can the lifetime and scope Now let us see the difference between uh, the automatic variables and the static variables. So coming to this automatic variables, I am writing the program, I am starting from the main function. So main, here we just declare the, we, we will define a three user defined functions. We call it as increment. So we can call the same function three times. So again increment. again increment so automatically we have to write the code for this user different function outside the main function so I am writing the code increment so I am declaring the variable using auto that means auto int a is equal to 0 a is equal to a plus 1 I am just incrementing the value of a and I am just printing the value of a a is equal to percentage d a close now I will write the same code and instead of creating uh, and declaring the variable a using auto I will create or, or I will declare the variable using static the same function so main again define three functions so declare three functions the same function we are declaring three times close so as it is a user defined function we have to write the definition of user defined function here outside the main function 
So I am writing the function, same function, increment. Declare a variable using a st static, static int a is equal to 0 and just increment that variable a is equal to a plus 1 and printf a is equal to percentage d a. Close. The same program I have written here. Both are same. But the only difference is here I am declaring the variable a using auto storage class and here I am declaring the variable a using static storage class. The difference of both storage class is lifetime. Scope is same. So here the scope means where, uh, where the variable should be used. So here also we have to use the a value only inside the user defined function. So a value can't be used in the main function. Here also a can be used only inside the user defined function because in the user defined function only we have declared the variable a and we need not we should not use this variable in the main function we can't access the variable in the main function now so after executing this one first the compiler will the control will execute this increment automatically the control will execute this definition so int a is equal to 0 a is equal to a plus 1 printf a so a will be printed as 1 and the lifetime of this auto is within the same block so where the variable is declared the variable will be alive only up to that particular block so after complete after printing the value of a the block ends so automatically the memory holded by the variable will be released that means the variable will be dead it is not alive it is dead variable now again the after reaching the end of the statement automatically the control will move on to the next statement in the main function again we are calling the increment function again the control will start executing the function definition so again auto int a is equal to 0 again a variable is declared now a is equal to a plus 1 so a is equal to 0 and a is equal to a plus 1 so again a is equal to 1 will be printed immediately after executing this printf statement whenever it reaches the end of the block automatically the memory holded by the variable will be released that means the variable will be dead a will be dead so here A is alive only up to this block. Right? So, whenever the control reaches the end of the function definition, automatically the variable will be dead. So, all the memory which is occupied by that variable will be released. So, again, the control will move on to the next statement of main function. Again, we are declaring, again, we have declared the, again, we have called the increment function. So, again, the control will move on to the function definition again a variable is declared using the auto and a is incremented a is printed so again a is equal to 1 so output of this program is a is equal to 1 a is equal to 1 a is equal to 1 because we have declared the increment function three times so this is the execution of program where we have declared the variable using auto storage class Coming to this, here we have declared the variable as a static. So the scope is same and the change is in lifetime. Lifetime means until the completion of the program, the variable will be alive. Not only within the block, uh, up until the program is executed completely, the variable will be alive. That means all the memory holded by that variable will not be released. Right? So now, Again, whenever the control reaches the function call, immediately the control will move on to the function definition. And again, the static int a, a is equal to 0, a is equal to 1, incremented and print. a is equal to 1 will be printed. And whenever it reaches the end of the function, again, the control will move on to the next statement in the main function. And the variable will not be dead because here we are declaring the variable because the program has not been completed. Again, still there are two more statements in the main function. So until you complete these two statements in the main function, 
the the variable will be alive that means the memory will not be released which is holded by the particular variable because here we are declaring the variable using static storage class so again increment will be called the uh, again the, the control will come to the function definition again this statement will not execute it because the variable a is still alive so this statement will not be executed so automatically a is equal to a plus 1 so a is equal to 2 so previously a is equal to 1 so a is equal to 2 and then print if a is equal to 2 a is equal to 2 will be printed whenever it reaches here it will check for the main function whether the main function all the statements in the main function has been completed or not if there are any more statements the variable will be still in a alive that means again we are calling the increment again the control will move on to the function definition so again this statement will not be declared i mean will not be executed again a will be incremented so a is equal to 3 printf so whenever it reaches the end of the block it will again check for the statements in the main function so here all the statements in the main function has been completed so the complete program has been completed its execution now the variable a will be dead that means all the memory which is holded by the variable a will be released so the memory will be holded until the complete main function that means the complete program has been executed so that is the, the output for this program where we declare a variable using the static storage class is a is equal to 1 2 and 3 and the scope is similar to the automatic variables we cannot use this a value inside the main function because a is declared in the user defined function so a should be used only in the user defined function a cannot be used in the main function so hope you understood the difference between automatic variables and the static variables now let us move on to the external external storage class so that is also very simple So as I said that the, the scope of extern is throughout the program and the lifetime is also throughout the program. And here what is the use of extern? So we need not initialize the variable in the main function during the declaration or in the main function. We can initialize the variable which is declared using the extern storage class anywhere in the program. So first the compiler whenever it reaches the statement extern that means declaration it shows that that particular variable has been initialized somewhere else in the program so first it will check for the initialization of that extern variable and then we can use that variable value inside the main function so first let us write the program so that you can clearly understood so main function so I am declaring the x value x is equal to 3 and I am also declaring the value x turn y is equal to 5 sorry x turn y sorry x turn int y so that means I am declaring the variable y using an integer data type and it should follow the life and scope of lifetime and scope of extern storage class now i am just printing the values printf x is equal to percentage d x similarly printf y is equal to percentage d y close the main function so what is the output for this here i am printing the x so x will be 3 will be printed and y y is equal to so and so here there is only declaration but no initialization so whenever the control reaches this statement extern wherever it reaches this extern storage class the compiler will say that somewhere else in the program the y, y is initialized so y has been initialized somewhere else in the program so first it will check for the initialization of y so if it doesn't find the initialization of y it will print the default value so the default value of external data type is 0 and 
So the output of this program is 3 and 0. So a little bit change. After the main function, I am initializing the y as 10. After the main function. Right? So here immediately for the first printf, x will be printed as 3 and the second printf Right? So the second statement extern int y. So it, it shows or it says that the y initialization, the value of y has been initialized somewhere else in the program. So the program includes not only the main function, also the user defined function. So it will check the complete lines of code where the y has been initialized. So here the y has been initialized. So 10 will be assigned to y in this statement itself. So if you print a, if you print the y value inside the main function, even though the y has been declared, I mean the y has been initialized after the main function, the value will be printed here, 10. So that is the usage of extern. So we need not initialize the value inside the main function. We can initialize the value outside the main function also. So first the compiler will check for initialization of y throughout the program and it will assign the value to the particular variable. So in the main function we are writing the, we are printing the y value. So first it will check for the y value throughout the program. So at the end of the main function, outside the main function, we can find the value, so y value initialization. So 10 will be initialized to y and y will be printed here. So this is the advantage of extern storage class. So hope you understood this uh, storage classes concept. It's very very important and the most important thing is we have to declare a variable using any one among these four storage classes. We have to mention the storage class while declaring the variable. So if you're not, if you're not uh, mentioning the storage class, so that means if you are not declaring a, any variable using this any one of these storage classes, by default the compiler will treat that uh, declaration as a automatic variables. So the lifetime and scope of automatic variables will be applied to the particular variables which are declared without using any storage classes. Hope you understood this one and uh, uh, thanks for watching my sessions. And if you are having any doubts regarding the C programming, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. And if you like my videos, share my videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel for getting more technical videos in various subjects. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.